Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Software Testing. Today I will discuss about XPath. XPath is used for finding any, any element. When uh, there is any element that doesn't have any ID, class or name, any particular uh, identifier, then you only depends on XPath. So XPath writing is not that hard, but it is tricky, but you need to know how to write XPath for an element. So today I'll discuss about how to overcome that issue, how to overcome to writing an XPath. So today I'll introduce one extension tool, which is called Selector Hub, that will write XPath for you with single click. It is very easy and uh, very easy to use and install. Today I'll show you a step-by-step -step process how to install and use Selector Hub to finding any XPath for any, any element. Let's go to the computer screen. I'll show you a step-by-step -step process. Now I am at computer screen. I'll show you how to install and use Selector Hub for XPath. So let's open Google Chrome. Selector Hub is almost um, used for all browser extension. So in the browser, go to google.com, google.com, hit enter, and type over here in the search button, Selector Hub, and hit enter. You see there is selector hub first thing is the google chrome extension chrome.google.com and second one is the selector sub official website you can go visit there for uh, more information we'll go for the selector sub extension click over here and here is the extension we uh, click add to chrome it is add extension there is a pop-up click add extension uh, it is added and uh, now you can turn on synchronization or just close it google chrome already added now you can verify go upper right corner here is a three dot click over here go to more tools extension uh, scroll down a little bit here is the selector sub so selector sub added successfully also upper right corner you see there is the extension click over here and go to the selector sub and pin it when you pin it, it will show it in the taskbar here. It is added. So selector hub setup is done. It is uh, everywhere it is. Now close the browser. And open browser again. Go to google.com. So now uh, any element, if you want to find any element expert, just right click in the search box. We are right click selector hub copy relative expert put it in the note notepad control v here is the source button uh, expert it's just a single click and within a second if you want uh, google source button expert right click over here selector hub copy relative expert then put, just paste it for future purpose i'm just putting over here both expert now i'll show another trick so just in the search button right click inspect click inspect you see console open over here also right side here is the selector hub if you left side if you see pointer button click over here you can point anywhere it will give you the x path in right way like within a second if you point uh, click on the pointer button and point anywhere, click here, images, it is the expert. Also, after getting expert, you can verify from here too. Go to the element console, uh, press Control F, like find, there is a search uh, box open. Go to your expert, where you put it, copy that expert and paste it over here. You see, it is perfectly selected to the source box. That means selector hub expat extracted exactly perfectly and it is working fine. Also, another one, you can verify that one. Copy that expat and go to your element console. Just paste it. You see, it is perfectly selected. That means uh, selector hub you can extract the expert within a second and it is working very perfect 
you don't have any hassle. Like those who are working in automation, they know how tricks needed uh, for writing expert. Custom expert writing, it is not that hard, but it is so tricky. If you miss anything, your whole case will be failed. So in by using Selector Hub, you have no issue uh, to finding expert or finding any element. Uh, I believe this is awesome tool, whatever I use. Um, if you want to know anything more about them, Selector Hub, the official uh, YouTube channel, you can visit there, you can get more information. Also, they have the uh, official website, you can visit there and can get more information for your purpose. I believe those who are in automation testing, um, it will be very helpful for them. If you think this is helpful, please like my video, subscribe my channel and share it to others. Also, if you have any specific question, please make a comment. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video.